Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at pure mathematics exam question on parametric equations point of intersection. Here is the exam question. The circle C1 has Cartesian equation x squared plus y squared equal 10x plus k, where k is any row number, y is any row number, where k is a constant. The curve C2 has parametric equations x equal t squared, y equal 2t, where t is any row number. The curve C1 and C2 intersect at four distinct points. Find the range of possible values for k. Give your answer in set notation. Please pause the video, have a go at this exam question. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution. So we've got curve C1 represented by this Cartesian equation, intersecting curve C2 represented by this parametric equation. So the Cartesian equation x squared plus y squared equal 10x plus k, we can call it equation one. The parametric equation x equal t squared y equal 2t we can call it equation 2. Now these two curves are going to intersect at four distinct points so what we have to do now is solve these two equations simultaneously. We're going to substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So we've got bracket squared replace the x with t squared plus bracket squared replace the y with 2t equal 10 bracket replace the x with t squared plus k. So now I'm going to simplify the equation. So if I simplify I get t to the power 4 plus 4 t squared equal 10 t squared plus k. Now I'm going to take everything to the left hand side. This gives me t to the power 4. 4 t squared minus 10 t squared is minus 6 t squared minus k equal 0. Now I'm going to rewrite this equation so that it looks like a quadratic equation. So the first term I can rewrite it as t squared in bracket squared. Second term I can rewrite it as minus 6 in bracket t squared and then I've got minus k equal 0. Now the solution to this particular equation is given by t squared equal the quadratic formula. So that's minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Right, so my a for this quadratic will be the coefficient of this bracket squared, that is 1. My b is the coefficient of this bracket which is minus 6 and my c is minus k. So now I can substitute a, b and c into this quadratic formula. So t squared is given by minus minus 6, that's 6, plus or minus square root minus 6 squared which is 36 minus 4 times 1 times minus k that's plus 4k all over 2 multiplied by 1 which is 2. So t squared equal t squared equal. Right so I've got t squared equal 6 plus square root 36 plus 4k over 2 or t squared equal 6 minus square root 36 plus 4k over 2. For this equation to have two distinct roots and for this equation to have two distinct roots we must have that the discriminant which is the expression inside the square root has to be more than 0. So 36 plus 4k more than 0. We can't take a square root of a negative number. Now if I solve this inequality I get 4k is greater than minus 36 Hence, k is greater than minus 9. Minus 36 divided by 4 is minus 9. Right, now, provided that 36 plus 4k is greater than 0, if I take the square root of that, it's going to be greater than 0. Plus 6 divided by 2, the overall number is going to be greater than 0. So this equation will have two distinct roots. Let's have a look at this equation here. Right, now, again, provided that 36 plus 4k is greater than 0, square root of that will just be greater than zero but then I've got six minus that over two there's a chance that this fraction is going to be negative to ensure that it remains positive we must set the numerator greater than zero because if the numerator is greater than zero then that positive number divided by two will overall be a positive number so we must have that the numerator six minus square root 36 plus 4k is greater than zero Okay, so now I can take the 6 to the right hand side. I've got minus square root 
36 plus 4k greater than minus 6. Divide both sides by the negative 1. This will give me square root 36 plus 4k. If we're dividing by a negative number, the inequality is going to flip to less than 6. Okay, so now we can square both sides. So if I square the square root, that will eliminate the square root, giving me 36 plus 4k is less than 6 squared, which is 36. And so 4k is less than 36, take away 36, which is 0. Hence, k is less than 0 divided by 4, which is 0. Okay, so we have that k is more than minus 9, or k is less than 0. We must give our answer in set notation. Okay, so let's start off with this inequality. In set notation, it will be written as k is any row number, such that k is greater than minus 9. The set notation for or is union, and this one over here in set notation will be k is any row number, such that k is less than 0. And that, dear ladies and gents, is the final answer to this exam question. Ladies and gents, if we go back to the solution, provided that k is greater than minus 9 or k is less than 0, this will satisfy the condition that this fraction over here will be more than 0 and this fraction over here will be more than 0. So if we've got a number more than 0, we can take the square root of it. So over here, when we take the plus or minus square root, we'll get two solutions for t. And over here, if we take the plus or minus square root, we'll get two solutions for t. In total, we'll have four solutions for t. That is perfect because we must establish the condition that the curve C1 and C2 intersect at four distinct points. So if we've got four t values, when we substitute them into the parametric equation, that will give us four distinct points. So that there, ladies and gents, completes this exam question and this teaching video, Pure Mathematics Exam Question, Parametric Equations Point of Intersection. If you found the teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.